Okay, so Laurentium is the last of the 5F actinide series, and there is truly not a lot to say about it. It has got absolutely no uses whatsoever. Laurentium was named after E.O. Lawrence, who was an American physicist in Berkeley, California. And he was probably one of the first people who really did science on a huge scale, building enormous machines, huge laboratories. And he set up in the um, early 1930s, he set up laboratories with large mass spectrometers, cyclotrons, for separating materials and, of different mass. And he, during the Second World War, he was one of the key figures in the Manhattan Project for building the um, <coughs> nuclear, first nuclear bombs. And in fact, my wife's father, John Keane, as an undergraduate, was sent from Birmingham University to um, Berkeley to work with E.O. Lawrence as part of his war, war service, working on the mass spectrometer, working on the problems of separating the isotopes of uranium. And it's also quite interesting that Lorentzian, for a lot of people, is the end of the periodic table. And if you look at my tie here, you can see that, um, if I point here, that after Laurentian, this is an old tie, that there's a blank. The element stopped there. But by the time I bought my next tie, they'd filled in these blanks. And so now I've got another tie, which you may have seen on some of the other frames where there are no blank frames in the, on the tie at all. 